What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kplex. I'm back here with another video, and today, and today is a big day in the history of the franchise. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is draft day. Now I'm recording this, uh, you know, what I'm saying on the 28th, so it's not draft day, but I'm acting like it's draft day. But it's basically draft day, okay? I even got the jersey on. It's the same jersey I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow during the draft. Which, by the way, guys, ladies and gentlemen, during the draft tomorrow. I will not be streaming. I might stream afterwards, but I will not be streaming the entirety of the draft. It was a decision that I've been thinking about a long time ago. I'm sorry if people are disappointed, but it was a decision that I was thinking about. And, you know, it's so many people that stream in the draft. It's so many people that do, do, do this now. You know, at, when I first was doing it, it wasn't that many. But it's so many people right now, and there's so much different avenues. And, you know, I, I rather, rather than keep, like, rather than splitting up the of people in every stream i would rather just not stream and just make my videos because i enjoy making videos so i'd rather just make the videos on the picks i might record me watching the player get drafted and i'll put that in a video but i'm not going to actually live stream i'll leave that to the people that actually uh do that okay so probably be checking out some live streams though maybe you know tds douglas i know those guys are gonna be live streaming so make sure y'all tune into that but anyways to get to the purpose of this video guys today our future changes now Ladies and gentlemen, I got a random mock draft on, on the board. This draft got us drafting uh, uh, Jamar Chase. Now, you guys know who I want to draft, all right? It has been no secret since the very beginning. It, it has been Sewell. Even before I knew how to say his name, I used to call him Sewell. Well. That's who I wanted to draft this whole time, and that remains the same today. Now, I am fully aware that most likely we're not going to be able to get him. You know what I'm saying? And so, that's why I'm not really, like, super into Sewell right now, but... Trust me, if there's any prospect that I want on this board right now, it's Sewell. And anybody who doesn't want Sewell, I think you're just falling for hype at this point. I understand Kyle Pitts got the lovers, and we'll get to that, but to act like drafting anyone but Sewell would be the smart thing is kind of crazy to me, okay? Now, you could say, I want to draft the exciting player, I want to draft the player that I could buy the jersey, that I could celebrate, that I could watch the highlights, that I could, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to just be excited on draft day about, like, I'd rather you say that than to act like drafting anybody over Pene Sewell is the actual smart thing to do, okay? I'd rather you just say you, you want, that's how I used to be, okay? Well, especially when I was a kid, okay? In my adolescence, when the Dolphins was drafting, I didn't want us to draft no Jake Long. I didn't want us to draft no Jawan James. I wanted to see the skill position players. That's how I was. So I'd rather you just say that than to act like it's very, very smart to draft or it's, it would be dumb to draft Sewell. You know, I, I'd rather you just say that I want the exciting player, right? Which I don't mind. And more than likely, we're going to end up getting the exciting player because I don't think Sewell will be available. So... And my favorite, my favorite prospects, and this is going to be my final rankings. Obviously, I like Sewell. Obviously, uh, I like Sewell. I love him. My second favorite, I think, is going to be either Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith, even though I feel like Devontae Smith might be a bit of a reach. But I like him. I like Waddle a lot. I like all the playmakers. I'm not going to lie. My least favorite, and I'm going to be honest because I've always been honest, is Kyle Pitts. And it's not, it has nothing to do with his talent. I'm sure he's so talented. I just don't understand. I can't put my mind behind. And trust me, I have been trying to understand why we would need a tight end so urgently. That And I know Pitts is no regular tight end. I don't care. Okay? But I just, I just don't see us needing a tight end so urgently to the point where he's just absolutely a necessity over Jamar Chase, over Sewell especially, over even, you know, over Devontae Smith and over, you know, you could say, yeah, let's draft him over. The, okay, I get that. But again, I'm taking Jamar Chase over him. I'm taking uh, Sewell over him. And then third, you know what I'm saying, maybe Kyle Pitts. Well, that's the facts. More than likely, Kyle Pitts will get drafted by Atlanta Falcons, which honestly, and damn near, in my opinion, might be the best thing that ever happened to the Dolphins franchise, okay? That's just the reality of how I see it, okay? Um, my perspective. But I can't wait to the draft either way. It's going to be exciting in the, even the first pick. Uh, to the 18th pick or what yeah, we have the 18th pick. Let me know in the comments Do y'all want me to make one video after both of the picks or do y'all want me to just make a video after the whole first round is over So that I can see both the picks. Let me know but other than that man I'm super excited for the draft. It's going to be very very interesting. I don't know who we're gonna get Okay, if I had to bet money on it, I would say uh, either chase or pits, but even then if I, like, narrow it down to one, I don't know. Chase just keeps on landing there. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, like majority of my drafts I do, Chase end up landing in that spot. So, 
I would say Chase, but I'm hoping for Sewell, and obviously a lot of the fan base, the majority of the fan base is hoping for a tight end Kyle Pitts. So, I mean, that's just the reality. Um, one thing for sure, sure, two things for certain, the franchise changes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We, I think we've been doing a good job drafting so far. So I'm hoping that we can continue the good job. I think we've been doing great. You know, I think, uh, you know, especially these last few seasons, even when we look at a miss that we had, like Minka, who was a miss, but he was also a, a make. You know what I'm saying? He was the right pick uh, from, a, uh, from a, 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 a standpoint of he was the best player damn near in his class. It's just the fact that he don't want to play. Like, it was a lot of, you know, other boys that, that, that happened uh, the way he didn't work out. So... Really looking forward to it. Either way, I'm thinking we're going to go offense. I haven't ruled out Michael Parsons, but I'm thinking we're going to go offense. It's going to be interesting, man. We have no idea who we're going to draft. Uh, again, if you ask you, like, I think the first two picks are pretty much wrapped up in Zach Wilson and uh, Trevor Lawrence. We get to the third pick. Uh, we're not knowing, but it's going to be a quarterback. Uh, Mac Jones, Justin Fields. And then we get to that fourth pick with Atlanta. That's when it really starts. And honestly, you're looking at a guy like uh, Kyle Pitts going there. And if Kyle Pitts ends up going there, then at least the, if, if Kyle Pitts ends up being the next uh, Julio Jones as many, or Megatron, as many claim he might be, then at least we know we never had a chance to get him. Unless we would have said at three, which we didn't do. So, um, super exciting day. Super excited to get in the conversation. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Who you guys want us to draft one last time? What's your hot takes of the draft? Let me know in the conversation. Like, comment, subscribe, roll to 9K, or oh my, why did I say 9K? Oh my good, I'm, I don't upload enough videos, y'all. 11K, I'm going to waste your bucket, I'm out.